According to the Kenya Revenue Authority, only 1% of people who earn a salary earn over 100,000 shillings. And the the way the reason why KRA has has this data is because anyone who's employed has to pay the payee, the pay as you earn. So we can assume that this data is accurate. And the last time I checked, there are over 2.5 million Kenyans who are employed in the formal sector. So out of the 2.5 million Kenyans who pay taxes, employment taxes for that matter, only 1% are earning over 100,000. And that is why in today's video, I would want us to go through this very important topic. How do you go about maximizing your salary so that you are able to earn the six-figure digits? Now, when it comes to salaries, there are many factors that affect how much you take home. An example is, what size of company are you working for? For sure, if you are working for a small company, you will not be paid as well as someone is working for a multinational. You also have to look at the industry and the sector. Some industries definitely pay better than others. For example, IT, the financial institutions, this is banks, insurance firms, they definitely pay better than the agriculture sector. The other thing you have to look at is the stage that the organization is at. For example, if you're working for a startup, the pay will be very different from someone who's working for an established uh, organization. So it goes without saying that, yes, there are factors which are beyond your control. But did you also know that there are very many factors that you can influence? when it comes to you earning higher pay. Because yes, you could be working for a multinational, you could be working for an NGO, you could be in the IT industry, but yet you're not maximizing on your potential. You're not earning the much that you could be earning. So in today's video, I want us to look at what are these factors that are under your control that you can influence and end up taking something better at the end of the month. So the first factor I would want you to pay attention to is on the skills. And here it's skills versus qualifications debate. Now, if you ask many professionals, what does it take to get promoted? What does it take to take home a good package? Most of them you tell you, oh, you need to have an MBA. You have to have all these certificates that you even have to be a degree holder. I'm here to tell you that what matters in the job market what employers are interested in is skills. And here I'm talking about transferable skills. And to make it simple, when I'm talking about a skill is your ability to perform a task. Employers don't hire you because of the number of certificates that you have. They are paying you and they are hiring you because of your ability to file those returns if you're an accountant, if you're a digital marketer, you're able to do SEO. If you're a salesperson, you're able to bring in additional revenue. That is why you are being hired. So sometimes I see people out there struggling, going for higher and higher qualifications. You know, the likes of MBA, postgraduate diplomas, where they don't have the skills that are required. So if you're at that level where you're wondering, how can I earn more? Then I'll tell you, look at your skills. Ask yourself. For someone with my years of experience, do I have all the skills that are required? If you're able to bridge that gap, then it will be very easy for you to be marketable and even be able to demand a higher salary. So, dear viewer, focus more on the skills and not the qualifications. My second tip for you is that you should endeavor to become a reader. You know, if you don't have readership skills, then this is a high time for you to be able to develop these key soft skills. Why? Look at your boss. Look at the MDs of this world. Look at the CEOs. The reasons why they, pay, they are paid the much they are paid is because they are leading a team. It's because they are in charge of a department. It's because they are in charge of results. So it goes without saying, the higher you climb in the career radar and you climb by managing people, by having a supervisory position, then you increase your responsibilities and that comes the additional responsibilities it comes with a better paycheck so if you are watching this video and you feel that you are an introvert you are shy you're wondering what does it take to become a reader 
the good thing is there are many resources out there and even here we do offer a leadership course training and mentorship because if you are still at the same level 10 years down the down the road you've never managed a team you've never managed others then chances of you earning a six-figure income are very very slim so look at you developing your leadership skills and a training would be a good place to start my third tip for you is that uh, and this is something i keep saying if you've been uh, a regular uh, viewer of or uh, visitor of this channel, you know I keep emphasizing this. You do have to be visible in the workplace. Hard work is not enough. That's something I keep on insisting. It's not enough for you to do a good job. It's not enough for you to be a good accountant. It's not enough for you to be a good HR person. Ask yourself, am I visible? Do the decision makers know the quality of my work? Do they know the current projects that I'm working on? So you should be able to market yourself indirectly. And how do we do this is uh, not shy away from opportunities. So if you go to a meeting, don't be afraid to speak of what you've done in the last two weeks, one month. And uh, don't feel like you are, you know, you are promoting yourself too much. No, you'll find that most likely the people who make noise in the workplace and hear noise, I'm, I'm using that word in a in quotes you find they're the ones who are recognized and when opportunities come they are the first ones to be considered so look at how you can be uh, more visible at the, at the workplace on to my last point and my last point is on the need for you to really establish professional networks and what do i mean by professional networks there's another video where i explain what it is to to have a professional network but in brief when I talk about professional network, is this is someone who knows you um, from a professional perspective. They know your skills, they know your work ethic, they know what you can be able to do, they even know your goals. So from today, my advice to you is start attending networking events, professional events. You know, start connecting with others, LinkedIn, on LinkedIn, talk to recruiters. So again, don't shy away, just like you being visible, uh, where... I advise you to really get known out there in the company. Now, when it comes to networking, not only do you wish to be known by the internal people, but also for the external world out there. That way, if opportunities come, people will say, oh, okay, I know of James, he's a good digital marketer, and I think you should talk to him. So if you've ever wondered how are people headhunted, how do people keep changing jobs, and you, they don't tell you they had applied for a job, it's because they have a good network. So think of people who can help you, um, uh, former colleagues, former bosses, uh, don't burn bridges, talk to people, be in touch. I'm sure if you do that, then you keep seeing opportunities come your way and definitely over time, you'll be able to be in a position even to earn that magical six figure digits. So those are the four pointers I have for you. I'll repeat or I'll summarize. Number one is be able to focus more on the skills and not on the qualification. Then look at how you can develop your leadership skills. Also look at how you can be more visible at the workplace and how can you expand your network, your professional network uh, for this matter. So when it comes to salary, there are very many factors that are within our control. There are so many ways you can be able to influence how much we earn. So if you are not happy on what you are currently earning, ask yourself, what can I be able to do? And definitely, I'm sure if you're able to address one or two things, then you'll be able to see uh, your value, People other people recognizing your value, and definitely that will go a wrong way in you being able to earn much. Every week we have a new video that advises you on how you can grow how you can make your career better and so if you are looking for such information if you'd want to empower yourself then subscribe and i'll see you next time